First off, let's talk about the specs. This Predator Helios 300 2020 model comes in many different variants. For the CPU, it has options for either the Intel Core i5 or Intel Core i7. For the GPU, it's either RTX 2060 or the NVIDIA RTX 2070. The RAM size can go between 8 all the way up to 32 gigabytes. For my unit, I got myself the 743Q variant, which, which features Intel Core i7 10750H CPU, RTX 2060 graphics card, and a 16 gig of RAM. Now, let's talk about the overall aesthetics. I like how Acer maintained a balanced look between sleek and aggressive for this Predator Helios 300 2020 edition. The sharp side edges make up for the gaming feel while the glossy black color provides the sleek design making it a great option not just for gamers and streamers but also for graphic designers. Not to mention the color of this model stays black until some natural sunlight lit up on it and turns it into some bl dark bluish color adding up some flair to it. Also, since we're talking about the aesthetics, it's also worth mentioning some noticeable differences of this 2020 model from the previous 2019 model. First is the Predator logo on the top shell of the laptop. They took off the actual Predator label and left just the logo itself and made it a little smaller. This created a more minimalist and elegant look to it it also makes the logo remarkable where you don't have to see the Predator logo or the Predator label just to distinguish the model. The logo itself is more than enough. The two air ventilations at the backside had been changed from black to silver, adding up some accent to it. You'll also see that the charger plug moved from the left side of the laptop uh, onto the back part. That way, it eliminates unnecessary cable strangling if you have other devices like keyboard or mouse attached to your USB slots. The head panel of the keyboard was also changed where they added a total of 20 air ventilation holes for air intake and, you know, better overall thermal performance. And lastly, the touchpad's border was changed from their usual sky blue color into silver, again, adding more flair. As far as the screen display, it has two options, either a 15.6 or a 17 inches display. Honestly, I have not seen a 17 inch model yet in person as the 15.6 inch variant is the more common one. I can't imagine how 17 inches could give you a more immersive experience, but the 15.6 inches provides you a decent field of view anyway for everyday gaming. Refresh rates vary from 120 to 240 hertz at 3 millisecond response time. It uses an IPS panel, which is great in terms of color accuracy and brightness. Some early releases of this 2020 edition had some backlight bleed issues. My personal advice is if the bleeding goes unnoticed while gaming or watching movies, then there's nothing really to worry about. Otherwise, if it's too distracting and unnoticeable, then without a doubt, contact your local store provider and ask for a unit replacement. In terms of the build quality, this Helios 300 2020 edition is a combination of aluminum, metal, and plastic frames. The top shell is aluminum, but the opposite side of it is plastic, which holds the screen display. The bottom is all plastic, whereas the body that holds the keyboard and the touchpad was made mostly from metal components. There is no question to this as metal performs well as far as conducting hot temperatures. Size and weight, talking about this, using our own measuring tape at home, this Helios 300 2020 model measures at 35 centimeters long, 26 centimeters wide, and 3 centimeters tall. Pretty average for laptops. As far as the weight, it's a little heavier compared to its direct competitor from other brands at 5.5 pounds. And after doing some research, I found out that the Gigabyte Aorus 15G was only measured at 4.9 pounds, while the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 was only measured at 3.5 pounds, making it the champion in this weight aspect. In terms of the keyboard, first it features a 4-zone RGB lighting system, which is customizable through the Predator Sense app. 
Uh, it's soft, sticky, and silent. Some competitor models like the Lenovo Legion i5 is more tactile and really it boils down to personal preference on this part. I personally don't have any issues with this keyboard because I only use this keyboard as a backup anyway since I'm using a separate mechanical keyboard most of the time. It's also nice that they still included a numpad that comes very handy especially for productivity purposes. The WSAD and the arrow keys are highlighted as well. It doesn't really boost the performance in any way, but you know, it's a great reminder that this laptop will always be ready to perform whenever you need it for gaming. For the touchpad, nothing much to say about it. I just like how it blends with the body. It feels soft on the touch and no feeling of any latencies at all. The speakers are nothing out of the ordinary as well. They're both placed at the front bottom side of this model. Pretty average, to say the least. For the ports and plugs on the left-hand side, this Helios 300 2020 edition features two 3.2 USB slots, a LAN Ethernet port, and a 3.55 millimeter jack input. On the other hand, it has one mini display port 1.4, it has one HDMI 2.0, it has an additional 3.2 USB slot that features power off USB charging and a USB Type-C port version 3.2. These port inputs and plugs give you enough flexibility to connect multiple devices such as monitor, keyboard, and mouse so you can max out your overall gaming experience. Battery life is measured at roughly 59 watt uh, per hour, average size for gaming laptops nowadays. It's advertised to last up to six hours on standby mode and at least three to three and a half hours on normal productivity usage. That's considering that the battery is set to balance instead of performance mode. Interestingly enough, if you use this Helios 300 2020 edition for gaming while unplugged and have the battery set to performance mode, the battery drains much faster and after testing it for a couple of times, it can only last between one to one and a half hours. But then, for anyone who's into gaming for quite some time now, you should already know that gaming laptops are really meant to work best while the charger is plugged anyway. That way, you wouldn't have to worry about any performance issues that you may encounter. Moving on to additional features, first is the Predator Sense app. This is your overall control center to monitor almost everything that you need with your Helios 300. It gives you access to different tabs on the left side of the app, and here's a quick run through. Home will let you see the temperature of CPU, GPU, and the system. Light is where you customize your 4-zone RGB keyboard. Overclocking gives you options between normal, fast, and extreme. Fan controls let you decide whether to leave it automatic, max, or custom. Monitoring allows you to see a detailed look on your usage and temps. GameSync gives you options to create specific settings per game that you launch. And last but not least, App Center to help you customize how your laptop will perform whenever you open specific applications. This by far is the most user-friendly app that I've seen all across gaming laptops on the market. This is definitely something that makes the Predator line one step above its competition. And this is just, of course, my own honest opinion. Next is the Turbo Mode. This feature makes your laptop overclock your GPU to the strongest and safest extent while maxing out the fans for both the CPU and the GPU. It's a super easy where all you have to do is tap the turbo button on the head panel and voila, you're all good to go. This makes everything more efficient and accurate as you don't have to do anything manually just to overclock and adjust your fan speed. Very nice. Regarding the price point, this Helios 300 2020 edition ranges from 62,500 pesos up to 165,000 pesos, that's equivalent to uh, 1,250 US dollars up to 3,000 US dollars. Of course, depending on the var variant that you will choose as well as the store where you, were, where you will buy it from. 
conduct my unit from Uni PC store located in Camuning, Quezon City, and I got it for 89,999 pesos or equivalent to 1,875 US dollars. Uh, one great thing about this Predator Helios 300 2020 edition is how they bundle each variant with lots of freebies like this Acer Predator APAC 2020 chair limited edition, gaming keyboard and mouse, as well as a Predator backpack. Uh, all of those already included on the price that I mentioned. I'm not sure if it's the Acer management who creates those bundles here in the Philippines or just the partner retail stores who sell them to the public. Regardless though, it's a great starter pack for every gaming enthusiast. So in conclusion, this Predator Helios 300 2020 edition is definitely one of the best options if you're looking for a gaming laptop that has A, good overall thermal performance, B, stylish design that makes you want to use it every time, C, user-friendly features, D, great price point which includes lots of freebies, and last but not the least, letter E, powerful specs that can run almost all of the AAA games nowadays.